My name is Charles Kepler, and I am one of the inventors of FiberFree. So up to 70% of textiles produced nowadays are made with synthetic materials. These include polyester, nylon, spandex, etc. And in the washing machine, uh, hundreds of thousands of tiny little plastic pieces um, from this clothing can be shed. It, it can be broken off and get washed down the drain. And these are called microfibers. They are less than a tenth of the diameter of a human hair. So that makes seeing them and catching them very difficult. And that's why this is such a new problem that most people haven't heard of. Furthermore, once they get into the oceans, uh, microfibers are polluting our marine life. Uh, marine life are having problems reproducing, they're having problems eating, they're experiencing starvation, death. It's making its way up our food chain. Uh, so it's already polluted our seafood. Um, the sewage is being used to fertilize crops. And so when microfiber goes to sewage treatment facilities, it then infiltrates agriculture. Um, fish meal is used to feed livestock. Fiber Free is a microfiber trapping device. Uh, so it goes into the washing machine and the dryer with your clothes and throughout the washing cycle uh, water flows through the inlets on the uh, ball and the microfibers that are suspended in the water get tangled up on the inside of the filter. When you are done with the filter you can simply remove it, recycle it, and then replace it. So preliminary testing showed that my, uh, fiber free is capable of collecting up to 40% of microfibers in your standard uh, load of laundry. If 1 in 10 households were to use fiber free, we could spare the oceans of the equivalent of 35 million plastic bottles worth of microfiber pollution every year. So microfiber pollution has infiltrated every facet of our food chain and studies have already shown that humans are already uh, consuming microfibers in the order of thousands every year. Um, so steps need to be taken now to mitigate this problem. And those steps are fiber-free.